Okay, so you had some time to discuss, and I get to play school teacher now, and I'll be coming around to a couple of tables to see if we can get some insight into some of the things you guys have been discussing. So I'm going to pick on this table right here, and who would like to give a little bit of highlight of what you guys were talking about? I have teenagers, so this hits home for me. I have three. But uh, I guess our highlight was um, basically how do you get companies involved and, and how do you make it simple as far as go out and interact with the companies, find out what their projections are and what they need and, and get that back into the curriculum. And uh, to some degree, it, based on some of the conversation we had earlier, which is how do we get the universities in line with that as well? You know, there's still a lot of traditionalism there that doesn't change, and that's the end game. I mean, that's, as a parent, that's where I'm trying to get my child, and as an educator, that's where I'm trying to get my children or my students. So how do we make sure that the work that we're doing at the grassroots level moves all the way through with them? You know, how do we put our, I guess, our hands or our money and our activities where our mouth is? I'm going to pick on this table here next. Um, and part of the theme for today is also immediacy. And, part, and we'll get more to that this afternoon when we go into our, our regional sessions. But it's about what we can do now, today, to get some things moving, as opposed to we spend a lot of time at events talking about logistics and people and resources and timetables. But what can we do now? And how can we not make the perfect enemy of the good? So that's kind of where the focus will be also this afternoon. And we'll talk more about that later. <laughs> but it's just a little few comments about what you guys discussed just now about that connection. We were talking about different ways to maybe bridge. <laughs> we were talking about ways to possibly bridge schools so that if we were referring to Mark's um, situation with the biotechnology opportunity, and perhaps there are ways to get schools to work together so that you could offer that at one school and still have students from other schools benefit from it being there. Spent a lot of time. <laughs> now I'm going to go over here, one last table over here to uh, Barrington's table to see what they talked about. Um, well, we realized through talking at this table that we all have the same objective and are doing things that are very similar. Um, getting into the classroom logistically is, is one issue that we're all facing and we're finding creative ways to do it. Uh, via the internet or through introducing research or other STEM careers. And I think what was interesting about our table is to make sure that we're connected, um, that there's no redundancies and that at our level of the people in this room that we're creating partnerships um, to introduce a, a kind of a front um, to make sure that we're learning from one another um, in all of our efforts. 